Hello. Hello. Welcome to Courage Bacchus. We've got a wonderful guest today. Her name is Shayla Soma Saba. Her, this is her sign name, Shayla. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. You're so welcome. What can you tell me about yourself? Oh, boy. Um, well, I'm competing in the Miss Universe Canada competition. It's in Toronto on May 24th. I'm very nervous and very excited, and I hope it's going to be a good time. <laughs> oh, you will. It will be. Thank you. So now, how old were you when you lost your hearing? Well, it was an interesting story. I was born hearing, um, and I was hearing throughout my childhood. I started losing my hearing when I was 22 years old. My family started to notice that um, I kept asking for them to repeat what they said over and over again. And they got me to go in for a hearing test. And I was still in the, about the normal range. And I was surprised, actually, at the time. But I thought everything was fine. Mm -hmm. And But two months later, I went back in again. And I was in the mild range. So I got hearing aids. And six months later, went back in again, and then I was actually had a, dropped again. So at this point, I realized I had to go in and um, learn ASL. I went into VCC and I took ASL courses and speech reading courses. And now I'm in the severe range, severe hearing loss range. The doctor thinks it's um, with to do with a rare uh, disease, a mitochondrial disease. Um, and they told me that, you know, in a few years I'll be 100% deaf. Wow. Oh, how did you manage to stay positive through all of that? The hearing loss, it's such a change and you're still such a positive person. How do you do it? Well, thank you. Um, you know, I just do the best I can. Um, I understand my situation and I prepared now. I'm more involved now in the deaf community. And this experience has given me more patience, more awareness. You know, and I'm just happy I got to learn a new language. And I got to meet some amazing deaf individuals and some amaz amazing interpreters. And I really, I just feel lucky for the whole experience. Yes, you know what, I totally agree. It's such a, you know, it's so exciting and interesting. So how did you decide you were going to become in the Miss Universe <laughs> Canada pageant? Well, I've been thinking about it for a few years, and I thought it would be a really interesting experience, firstly. And also, I wanted to show that anyone can compete on the same stage. We're all equal, Dep no matter what their ethnicity, their illness, their disability, whatever it is, um, it's just important that we work together. Yes, I absolutely agree. It's such an important uh, value to have. So, you know, when you think of what you really, really want in life, what, what's your ultimate goal? I mean, I really want um, to bring about education, I want to inspire women in Canada. I want to bring awareness to people. That's so important for me. I really just want everybody to know that anything is possible and you can do anything. And it's challenging, but it's still possible. Wow. <laughs> oh. You have a charity that you support, right? What can you tell me about that? Well, the Miss Universe Canada pageant um, has three charities, and each girl that's involved picks one charity. So I picked Operation Smile, and this charity um, I support because they provide children with um, facial deformities um, with surgery, and so I think that I thought that was really important. 
And actually, I recently learned that um, children with facial de um, deformities can also get um, bad ear infections and can become deaf. And so I think that was a really good match for me to support that charity in particular. Oh, that's great. It's nice to support your belief in Operation Smile. I think that's great. Thank you. So you've been involved in sports in uh, Vancouver, and I believe you did um, a triathlon and a uh, martial arts. You're involved in that as well, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, the, I mean, it was, the Vancouver triathlon was crazy. It was very hard. Um, I, the swimming part, it was in the ocean. I was really nervous to go into the ocean. And I started swimming, and you know, I was doing okay. And I thought I was, um, you know, doing pretty well. And I start to notice other swimming swimmers turning back, going back to the beach. But I just kept going. Um, there was a man standing on the shore watching, you know. And my dad asked, you know, why is, are the swimmers coming back? And he said, oh well, there's um, lightning, so they can't continue. It's dangerous. And so we've we've sent an alarm and saying that they all need to come back. Don't worry, we've told the swimmers. And my dad realized, you know, my daughter's deaf. She can't hear that announcement. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it was okay, you know. I realized, you know, as other people were turning back and then I eventually did see the lightning. So, you know, I, I turned around and it was okay. But the best part, of the whole triathlon was the finish line. You know, I was so happy to have made it there. It was tough, and I was proud of myself for completing it. And my family was watching the whole thing, and so I just loved that moment. Wow. So did you get a medal then when you crossed the finish line? What did they give you? Yeah. Um, you know, they gave me a medal. I was so tired. I could barely breathe. Um, and you know they they brought something over and they said oh is, uh, you know I thought is that for me and I smiled pretty for about a minute and then I went back to huffing and puffing and eventually went home <laughs> I was exhausted oh that's funny so tell me um, a bit more about the martial arts that you do it's really fun it's not competitive it's just for fun um, I want to learn to be strong you know and not scared. And that helped me a lot. Um, there was a lot of great information that I learned, and it just helped me stay strong in a positive way, not in a competitive way. You know, my dad was worried at first um, that I'd come home black and blue, you know, but it, it was just for fun. <laughs> you know, no need to worry about me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry if my ASL is a little bit rough. I've only been learning for four years oh, now. No, not at all. It's wonderful. I understand you easily. <laughs> I'm trying. You just keep on going. You know, keep going, keep practicing. You'll have it in no time. It's very easy. Um, you know, you have that. I love watching you smile. You have the sign. You have such a wonderful smile. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, what are your career goals? Right now, I'm studying in two programs, both at Douglas College. First Steps Intervention with Children with Autism. And the other one is to help people living with um, mental illness. Um, it's a psychiatry, uh, psychiatric nursing program. Um, so I, it's a two year program and in the second year, sorry, it's a four year program, I'm in the second year. Uh, so I'll graduate from both programs and then start looking for work. And so are you using an interpreter at Douglas College then? Oh yeah. Always, yeah. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, I've been using an interpreter for three years now. Good. It's good to sort of learn that way. Are you really enjoying being in school? Yeah, the first semester I was in school, I was really nervous. You know, it was the first time after I became deaf um, that I was using an interpreter and being kind of out in the world. You know, and she was signing really fast, and I was nervous, you know. You know, and I felt like I had to, you know, get her to repeat, and I was trying to understand. But now, you know, three years later, it's a lot easier for me to understand, and I understand more, more, yeah, and more gets, every day. Yeah, it gets better and better. Yeah. And the more time you you spend, you know, watching sign language, the easier it is. 
Yeah, the first semester after eight hours of watching an interpreter, my eyes felt like they were going to fall out of my head. They were red and sore. You know, I had to keep closing them and giving them a rest, but then I would miss something, you know, and then I'd want them to repeat it. And <laughs> you know, you'll get so used to it because you grew up hearing everything. And, you know, your eyes do get really tired. Exactly. Yeah, I completely understand what you're mm -hmm. saying. Hmm. So I'm going to back up a bit. So how did you feel when you got picked to be Miss Canada Universe? I was so excited. I was the first um, deaf woman in the pageant. And I just really wanted to take the opportunity to show everyone that it doesn't matter what your capabilities are. You know, you can still go and try. And, you know, it just, you know, it just all that doesn't matter. You just got to try. And the other girls are so amazing. You know, some of them are learning sign language for me. Oh, wow. You know, we've been practicing. And they practice every day. And they say, okay, my name, oh, okay, you know, and remember, I have to tell them, you remember, don't, you know, put your thumbs down. You don't want to be... Um, accidentally looking like you're going to shoot somebody. Yeah. And they'll make little errors like that. But that's so cute. Wow, it's true. <laughs> it looks like you're going to shoot someone. <laughs> it's a lot different. Like, my name's Natasha. And this is Shayla. Oh, that's so cool. So then the, in the pageants, you practice, you, you said Fridays, right? It's when you have your rehearsals for um, your poses and whatnot. Do you like doing that? What's your favorite to do? Saturdays, oh, yeah. Saturdays, okay. So what does it look like on Saturdays? What do you guys do? It's all new for me. I mean, we have to walk in heels. Oh, my God, the heels. It's hard for me to, you know, I'm used to flat shoes. And we wear five-inch heels and have to learn to walk in them, you know. I just have to keep repeating, you know, don't fall, don't fall to myself. And, you know, and the first time I um, tried stairs for the first time, that was a challenge, you know, but we have to practice that. And I just have to keep hoping I'm not gonna fall. But the girls are amazing, you know. A lot of them have been in pageants before, so it's a lot more natural for them. So I learn a lot from them, in fact, and they help me a lot. <laughs> So you practice going down the stairs? Yeah. And we practice sitting and posing, and we practice interview questions. There's a lot to work on. So what is the hardest part for you? The, the heels or the posing or the stairs? The posture, for sure. Mine's really bad. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> gosh, I'm worried now. I should have sat and sitting up straight. You know, we have to practice in the interview, and I sign, and I feel good. Um, you know, I have to look confident, and then somebody will come and just, like, push my shoulders back, just a little reminder, and I realize I have been slouching the whole time. And then, you know, as I sign more and more, I go farther and farther down, and, you know, somebody will come back over and just tap that shoulder again. And I just didn't realize how bad it was. i got to keep practicing that one. I remember having to practice standing against the wall for a really long time to keep my back nice and straight, and that really helped. Good idea. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try that. <laughs> or sitting against the wall, too. You know, when you get really used to having your shoulders back. It does help. A lot of good practice. I want you to win. I want you to be perfect. Those five-inch <laughs> heels, looking good, posing around to everyone. I'll try my best. <laughs> I believe in you. Thank you. What's the most important advice you have uh, for people in, in your life? You what was advice your, or influence? Yeah, who was your most who was the biggest influence for you? My dad. That's an easy <laughs> question. My dad is the most beautiful, hardworking, honest, and inspiring person I've ever met. He's just an amazing person. He immigrated to Canada. Um, he had nothing, and I mean nothing, you know. And he, he just has been so successful. I'm so proud of him. He's worked so hard, and he's the best parent I've ever known. I'm so lucky to have had him. I love him so much, and if 
forever and always. So now, did your father go watch you at the uh, Miss Canada Universe on the 24th? Is he going to be there? <laughs> no. no. I'm not having any family there. I'm too nervous. If I had my family in the audience cheering me on, I feel like, you know, I'd, I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face up there, you know? They'd for sure be making a ruckus and, you know, I have to keep a straight face up on the stage. So, no, none of them are coming. So you're going to be flying alone to Toronto then? Or are you going to be with um, some other people in the pageant? Is it, are you going alone? A few, I think a few girls are going to be on the same flight. Uh, and uh, <laughs> my interpreter will be on my flight with me. I think that's it yeah. for the flight. And so it's on the 24th then. So when do you leave? I guess the 22nd maybe or? The pageant starts on the 25th, is that right? Yeah, I just leave a day before, you know. <laughs> I, I go there, I do the pageant, then the next day I come home. Just on the one 25th. day? Oh, beforehand, yeah. Um, there are seven days. The pageant itself is only one day. Um, and, you know, then they announce the winner, and then there's a party in the evening. And then the next day, we, we basically just go to bed, wake up, and go back to the airport, fly home. Wow, cool. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so nervous, too. I'm excited to meet the other girls, for sure. I think there are 60 of us. 15 from BC now. So I've met the 15 girls from BC. And they're all so amazing. Um, but I'm looking forward to meeting the others. So there's 60 contestants all from Canada, yeah. from everywhere? 60. And you're the one deaf contestant. Yeah, I'm the first deaf con contestant ever. Wow. I think two years ago there was somebody that was hard of hearing, two hard of hearing girls. That was two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. Hmm. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just learned that uh, <laughs> recently today. Oh, cool. Wow. Wow, the first, you know, deaf competitor for Miss Universe Canada. That is such a big impact for everyone. I hope so. Oh, I believe it absolutely will be. Well, I want to um, invite you to a big fundraiser. It's going to be on May 17th. And you can meet the BC team, the girls that are from BC, um, <laughs> called, or call our team BC Beautiful. And so they want to meet you, so if you could come. Sure, I would love to. Make sure you email me that information. I will be there. It's at uh, the Imperial. So come on over, you know, it'll be a great party. It'll be really fun. That's in Burnaby, right? No, downtown. Corner of Maine and Hastings. Oh, wow. I will be there, you bet. I'm excited. Oh, this will be so great. So they'll be dancing, drinking, partying. It'll be a lot of fun. And have you met m most of the girls there, or have you met them all over the place? Is there going to be all kinds of people there? Yeah, the Team BC will be there. And the, um, it'll be, it's a fundraiser for our team from BC. Oh, nice. So we can dress up. Do you need a fancy dress? A big fancy dress? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, I'm going to have to get a new dress. Well, help me. I'm going to need your help. Of course. Yeah, we'll go shopping. <laughs> Got some good women time. <laughs> uh, any other events you have coming up before you go to the pageant, or is that just it? I think there's just the one. There's going to be 500 people there, though. It's a big one. <laughs> it's a big fundraiser. So all the girls on the team um, are going to be there. The, fund the fundraising is going to be supporting <laughs> all of us, so that'll be great. It'll be, there'll be music, food, drinks, dancing. It'll be a good time. Oh, that's so nice. So you, we don't need the interpreter, I guess. They're not going to be there. We'll just go with you and I. Ah, we're fine. We don't need that. 
Anything else you'd like to tell us about, um, you know, about your your passions and what you're passionate about? You know, of course, the competition and the pageants, but, you know, what else is you, do you really, really love? I like to volunteer. I volunteer quite a bit. I've been volunteering for many years now, actually. I've been, through that, I've met so many different kinds of people, I've been faced with so many different situations, and it's made me more aware of everything. And I'm uh, involved in the running team that we do, we do tournaments every year. Uh, the Caesar Society has um, a tournament every year. So that's really exciting. So last year I made a sign that said um, 15,000 seizures um, I've survived. I have this big pink <laughs> sign. And I stood at the front of the running team and I just held that up, you know, for all the, to see. And, you know, people were dumbfounded by it. And, um, you know, after the run was finished, people came up to me and said, oh, congratulations, you know, that's amazing. And one mom came up to me and said, my daughter has seizures. And she just had her third surgery. Um, can she meet you? And I said, of course, you know, you know, bring her over. And this little girl came over. She was seven or eight at the time. And she looked up at me and she said, I saw your sign, and I hope one day, you know, I'll be seizure free like you. So I think that was just such an amazing time, you know, to meet her and just being a part of that helps me um, have a deeper understanding of um, other people's situations and that there's all sorts of people out there. I find that really helpful. 15,000 and you survived. Oh. Yeah, 15,000. I mean, that's so many. Yeah, I think it was like 10 or 15 every day. But now, um, for the last five years, I've been seizure free. You've been five years now? Yeah, free? as of today, yeah. For, as of now. Oh, I've been five that's years wonderful. Seizure free. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and I can drive now. Yes. And I can swim. Wow. Oh, you've had so many struggles and you know, you've just really believed you could to make it through and to be seizure free for five years. You're such a brave woman. That's so inspiring to me. You've got your martial arts competition, volunteering, the pageant, and uh, the BC seizure group with that wonderful pink sign saying, <laughs> Uh, you know, that you had been seizure free for so long and being able to meet that girl, that's such a powerful message to me. Um, you're so amazing. Well, what about you too? You're a perfect example of all of that as well. I mean, how many medals have you won? Oh, nine. That's amazing. Well, I guess 50 all together, but you know, it's the same. I just love it. I love running, and same thing as you have a passion for, you know, all these different things that you do. It's it's just the same. It's so wonderful. Thank you. I can't believe you've been seizure free. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, I have more time every day. You know, sometimes I don't even know what to do with it. You know, when I was having 15 seizures a day. It just ate up a lot of time. <laughs> so now I can go for a walk, I can go running or swimming, I can drive around and meet my friends, I can go dancing, and I'm fine. Whoa. Oh, that's such a nice feeling, isn't it? You know, looking back, there's so many things that you've had to overcome, and they've, you know, you've turned them all into positives. And you're such a good example of being happy. I'm trying, yeah. You can do anything. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's so great. You know, wow, what a great conversation about, you know, Shayla, your experiences 
volunteering and you should check um, Shayla Selma Sabag at her website. Um, there's a lot of information there as well. And you had your charity, um, Operation Smile. And is that uh, information available on the website as well? Yes, so check all of that information. Um, DefCanada.ca and you'll be able to find information on Shayla and everyone. Thanks so much. I loved having the chance to talk with you. Oh, thank it's you been for really having great. me. Thank you so much for sharing your rich experiences with, with us. And thank you so much for joining us on Courage Back Us. Please check back with us again uh, at DefCanada.ca. And again, check Shayla out. Shayla Selma Sebag. And she has a lot of information there as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Shayla. You.